Hey you guys, so I wanted to talk quickly about this new reality show on Showmax called This Body Works For Me. Um, for people who don't know, it's a South African reality show about, um, I think, five um, ladies in South Africa who are in the SEX industry and making money through their bodies, hence the title of the show, This Body Works For Me, meaning Lomzimba Uyang Sebenzela Milu Owang Tebeleta basically the body is going to work and it's making money for these ladies it is the start of the moral degeneration of south africans it is the start of the moral degeneration of south africans i'm very mindful of the fact that unemployment rate in south africa is very high I'm very mindful of the fact that a lot of young people have gone to school, come back, are sitting at home and they don't work. That is an indictment of the ANC. That is an indictment on the ruling party. But now to have media houses in South Africa take that weakness that is plaguing the black community and using, against, using it against us by parading black women and exploiting the vulnerability of black women in this way to me is very painful it is very regrettable because i'm sure behind this there is a white media company that okayed this and for that reason i'd like to ask the question where is a similar show for white women where is the show similar to this for young white girls that can't make money or that can't find work where is it you won't find it because if white women can't find work, I'm telling you one thing. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody at Vodacom who can help a white girl find a job. Or somebody knows somebody who knows somebody at a privately owned white company who can help a white girl find a job as a receptionist. Rona as black people, we are gatekeeping. We are keeping other black people out. And then our young black girls end up on OnlyFans and they end up making money through these kind of shows. Even though this show is behind a paywall and we are trying to hide it from young people because it's behind a paywall, teenagers are still going to be able to access it on Showmax. And what kind of seed are we planting in the minds of young, impressionable black girls with putting a show like this on TV? Not only are we okay, are we okaying sex work, we're marketing sex work now. It's not right. And while we're here, I want to talk about the um, anchors or the characters or the people that I, I consider to be anchors of the show. Um, firstly, Uandile. I love this girl. I love her for her confidence. I love her for the fact that even though a lot of girls on the show consider her to not be um conventionally attractive enough to fit into the show wandile believes in herself and wandile believes that she fits in so because of that i'm giving her 10 out of 10 just for the confidence that she has in herself because in this world if you don't have confidence and if you don't take things for yourself no one is going to give them to you you need to take up space you need to demand that you sit at that table or else no one is going to offer you a seat so i love her for that but at the same time it is still not lost to me the fact that one delay is someone who's carrying a lot of generational pain and a lot of generational curses are on her back and she has chosen to use her body to try and break some of those curses wandile was raised by her grandmother and it looks to me from what has been portrayed on the show that her mother didn't really raise her and her mother herself has a lot of pain that she's dealing with so wandile is a product of a broken family she's a product of being a daughter of a mother who did not raise her fully because perhaps of the pain that her mother had herself. And she is a product of a family that had no money. And she's now using her body to cover up and to make up for that. It's unfair on her and it's, it is unfortunate that she had to be the one who had the responsibility to cover the mismanagement or to cover the failures of the past generations with her body. I can't imagine how that must feel like these girls are also victims of the society and the surroundings that they come from 
and I also want to talk a little bit about Colleen Feka. Um, she's an enigma. She's an enigma. She has not given as much about herself as all the other ladies have. Uh, we haven't found out much about Colleen other than the fact that she's got a big booty. And she is getting bank off of that booty. And I'm not mad at it. You know, like, the I'm, I'm very conservative. And the non-conservative in me, which is like 2% of me, I'm not mad at them for what they're doing. But the 98% of me is. So Goli is just a, a light skin girl with a big booty. Even if you watch her content, she's not really doing much. And then let's talk about Samke. Samke is the most wounded bird up here. Samke is so wounded. And she has told us many times on Twitter and even on the show that she is wounded because of her childhood. She's got childhood trauma from the cruelty that her mother showed her, and from the abuse she suffered at the hands of her mother's boyfriend. She is wounded and it shows, and she's been honest enough to say, listen, I'm abusing alcohol, I'm abusing drugs because I'm trying to numb the pain. And even the fact that Samke wanted to give her kids away, or she wants to, that shows that she is broken. And I think it's a wise decision because she's not just giving them away to anyone, she's giving her rights away to the parents or the family of her children's fathers which i think is smart considering the fact that she is as wounded as she is i wish all the best for samke i wish that god would open her eyes one day and show her that everything that she's gone through has not been in vain there has been a purpose and there has been a reason because I am one person who believes that everything happens for a reason. Nothing is arbitrary. And the same applies for Samke. And then um, there's Prima Donna who thinks that her life is one long episode. Yeah, I love and hip hop, Atlanta or Miami. Prima Donna, we're in South Africa. We are in South Africa. Stop with the American accent. Stop was trying to put on this thing when now you're Jocelyn Hernandez. So you aren't. You are prima donna. You are a petty girl. Ibile West, prima donna sounds like Kimulubedu. You are a Mulubedu girl. You are a traditional girl. Be yourself. I don't like this persona that prima donna puts on. It's entertaining, but it it, it it's a smoke and mirror sort of thing. We're not getting down to, to the nubbin of who, who Prima Donna is because when she was talking to her mother and she was speaking in her native tongue, that's when we got to see the real Prima Donna, the vulnerable Prima Donna. But this show she puts on, ah, man, it's not doing it for me. Okay, long story short, that is my quick summary of This Body Works For Me, the new reality show on Showmax. Um, quick summation... This show is an indictment on the current ruling party and is a reflection of their inability or their failure to create jobs for young people. And it is also a mirror to us as black people of the kind of black households that we have where the girl child isn't safe and the girl child feels the need to get up and go use her body to create financial stability or security that the parents failed to create. We could blame that on apartheid as much as we want, but the truth at the end of the day is that black parents have failed black children, and in most cases, black girls, but um, let me not be sexist because it goes both ways. Even black boys are just as damaged and just as hurt by the failures of their parents. I don't think this is a show that should be on TV. I hope there isn't a season two. Um, we don't need to be marketing um, this kind of work as much as some people would like to say sex work is work, but it should be a last resort. It shouldn't be glamorized. It shouldn't be something that we are selling on show max so much so that it will be accessed by younger children who might want to aspire to it. Let's do better for the black community. Let's create better role models. We can do much better than this, guys. We don't deserve this kind of smart television. That's it. Go to my YouTube channel to hear the rest of this video. You'll see me in my next video.